Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today I'm going to be making a Faraday phone pouch um, for my phone. <laughs> um, so you can buy these, you know, professionally made like from, um, you know, Silent Pocket and there's a bunch of different brands and things like that. But um, I'm going to try to make my own and just kind of see if it works. I've seen a lot of tutorials online showing the same process. I've made something similar. This is a similar process on how you would make a Faraday cage, kind of. Um, but uh, I'll just kind of show you the process. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want um, something like paper. Cardboard would be preferred, but something paper. This is construction paper. So we're going to try with paper, and then we're going to have the tin foil. I'm going to wrap... I'm going to tape all this up. So basically when it comes to any sort of Faraday, anything, you want every single little piece of everything taped up. Okay. So nothing should, there shouldn't be any type of, um, you know, signals getting in here. So you want everything taped up. So I have two sheets of paper here and then I'm basically just folding them over. Actually, yeah, yeah over this one over and then you know it's not really going to be the prettiest oh, actually yeah so folded this over and then I folded this over and then that's going to be folded over again so you do want it snug okay so just kind of fold it over the best that you can and don't worry about the top for now all right once you've sealed everything uh, you may have to come back and seal some more you know once you do your tests but once you've sealed everything I, I ran out of Gorilla Tape, so I went over my existing Gorilla Tape with the, the other tape. So once you have it all, you're basically, you know, you just really want to make sure everything is sealed, sealed, sealed. Everything is pressed down, you know, really, really tight. Okay, so now it's time for the aluminum foil. I'm going to wrap this three times with aluminum foil. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to wrap the aluminum foil with more um, paper. So again, you know, you're sealing everything up again with the tape. Okay, so I have about three layers here. I'm gonna make sure the phone still fits. Looks good. All right, now it's time to wrap the paper around um, the aluminum foil and then tape that up. All right, once you have your outer layer all set up, then you wanna seal the layers up top together. Okay, so you wanna take some tape and just seal the top layers all together. Okay, make sure they're sealed up really good together. All right, so the phone call is being made to the cell phone inside. There's no vibration. Your call's been forwarded. <laughs> so, you know, with with this or any type of Faraday cage, you have to make sure that there's absolutely no gaps, okay? There's no gaps in any of your layers. So what I did on the outside here is I actually wrapped the entire thing in tape just to make sure that everything is really secure. Plus, you know, you have to make sure that there's just no gaps in any of the layers that you make in your first layer, in your foil layer, and of course in your last layer. You got to make sure there's no gaps, okay? So really pay attention and make sure there's absolutely no gaps. But, um, I call this pretty good. You know, I would keep wanting to test it and just make sure that, you know, it's it's still going to be good. But um, I might make a couple more, just kind of refine it a little bit. Um, I, I think the next time I do it, I'm going to literally wrap every single layer in tape, just like I did this outside, just to make extra sure that, you know, I am securing those potential gaps. But, um, but yeah, so let's get this out of here. Now I know that there's a lot of debate when it comes to Faraday cages in general, right? And there's also a lot of debate about just 
you know, whether they're going to even protect it, whether these homemade things will protect it, whether the things that you can buy will protect your stuff, you know, so there's a lot of debate. So do it, don't do it, but, um, you know, do a lot of testing with whatever you decide to do. And, and there's a lot of preppers that are like, well, if I don't want to use my phone, I'm certainly not going to use a Faraday cage, you know, to hide my stuff. I'm just going to break my phone and get rid of it. And that's on you. Okay. You want to get rid of your phone, get rid of your phone. All right. Um, there's no right or wrong answer here, okay? This is just, you know, a, the Faraday option is just a really quick way to get yourself off grid for a minute. Like if that's all you need, you know, just like a few minutes to get off grid or whatever, um, you know, or intermittent or intermittent intermittent <laughs> what I meant to say um or you know whatever the case may be I don't know or maybe you think that an EMP is coming and you want to protect your stuff and you're out and about and you know you don't have your big old you know Faraday cage with you you just have this right this is a nice portable option for at least you know your device and 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 your charging cables as well you'll want to throw those in there as well so anyway thank you all so much for watching take this information as you will you know there's lots of co companies down below to where you can actually buy your um the faraday bags and i'm gonna put a link down below to those people i'm not sponsored or anything or make your own diy version thank you all so much for watching conquer tomorrow preparing today talk to you later bye